here we are with Edge Runner episode 7. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think, and also let's get to the episode. Okay, let's see where we pick up from last episode. Okay, we are driving. So we pick up where we left off. No, this is not the one we know. David's then. I guess we got a time skip. Maelstrom Metal. <laughs> she is pissed. Stop doing that, asshole. I like Becca. Short tempered. <clears throat> All right. So I guess there was a time skip. <coughs> I guess David is now the boss. He has no t-shirt on anymore. Bad chest under his jacket. <coughs> Must be quite a big time skip if he has some fans. Suddenly, right? <coughs> so there is not just a few days, I guess. This must be like maybe weeks. Months, maybe? That's not what I expected. Because I would like to know how things went afterwards between David and Lucy, right? Seemed very tense situation between them two. And like how the others, like Becca and others, uh, thought. And yeah, I mean, we didn't saw Becca last episode and the other so yeah not everyone is dead just like doria i think uh main and kiwi kiwi might still be alive maybe maybe they maybe after main punched her out of it maybe they took her away somewhere else so she might be alive still <clears throat> so maybe just main and doria died we will see Oh, this place, yeah. <clears throat> Kiwi, yep. Yes, he has the arms equipped. We don't see Lucy, so is she still around, or maybe she, maybe she, <laughs> shoot off. Oh. God damn. <laughs> Everyone. Ho 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 ho. <laughs> what a bitch. I'm not a newbie anymore. And she has also big arms. Does she get an upgrade? <laughs> oh, the turrets. Dude, he's just chilling. And they hacked it. He's chilling. Hey, another song from the game, I think. If it's from the game, I didn't listen to it much, but I think I remembered. Oh, that's a big boy. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> oh my god, he is ripped. Yeah, this is definitely from the game. I remember that. <clears throat> Dude, he is ripped as fuck. How much time did pass? Dick show. And leg upgrades, arm upgrades. <clears throat> this is so badass. Idiot. <laughs> but yeah, we didn't saw Lucy, so maybe she split off from the group after what happened last episode. <clears throat> Wakaba, uh, Wak Wakako, we know her. New lead? Lead on what? Like a new gig or maybe Lucy? If she's gone? Man, she has some big arms. Holy shit. Or big hands. Yeah, it seems like Lucy is gone. <clears throat> Maybe because of what she saw. In Tanaka's data mind, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Pillar didn't have to go up to the Cyber Psycho, so he risked his life, I guess. Because I guess Cyber Psychos are pretty unpredictable.
Ooh, once upgrade more. <clears throat> and he's upgraded a lot. But that's bad, right? Oh yeah, he oh, it's an affinity against cyberware overall. Interesting. Adam Smasher. <laughs> yep, we know him. No, he's not. <laughs> Oh, it's him. The fixer. Oh. Yep. Oh my god. I wouldn't trust this guy. <clears throat> Damn, he's living good. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, she's here too, okay. She's not just doing the gigs anymore, I guess.
Don't fall, so. Oh, the Akira bike. <laughs> Me too. Let's go. Damn, dude. the small flashback we saw last episode.
Was that Lucy? Looks a bit like her. From what little we can see. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, interesting. We had a time skip. Didn't saw that coming either. <laughs> and yeah, um, just Main and Doria, I think was the name, died, right? Um, makes sense. Kiwi got sent away after she got knocked out by Main, and no one else was around. So of course, Becca and Kiwi are still alive. Um, and then yeah, they have a mission, and they show the time skip. They show that David is now in is now the boss and everything, and that he chromed up like crazy. Man, he is ripped as fuck, which is crazy because later um, the doctor, the Ripper Doc, said that there's no one really that is so full of chrome and cyberware and all that shit and it's still like fine like david and so he's just very resistant he's not just resistant to the sandavis he's resistant to cyber where overall and then yeah we had the flashback with jimmy kurosaki where he's like do you think you're special and david is like yeah maybe i'm just special <sighs> and i'm at this point where i'm like if i would be in david's situation and i'm already chromed up as fuck and i'm still fine I would just be okay that's enough i'm already good enough i don't need more but david is like yeah i want more right i'm resistant i want more as long as i'm fine i want more which i think is like the troubling part because i think sure he is resistant from what it seems like we don't know how resistant he is and he's fine right now even though he's like basically extremely chromed up like i mean his legs are improved his arms are improved his body seems improved um i think the only normal part of the set by now i think <laughs> i don't know um so yeah he just wants to get as much as possible out of his body right and um, which i think is also what main did right he wants to be as chromed up as possible and i feel like that can backfire right what if the same happened as with main you chrome up the whole time you get new stuff get stronger and all that stuff but at some point it just takes takes you over right it just corrupts you and what if you're in a tough situation right then you're fucked if you kind of malfunction in a bad situation so that's why i would say i'm powered up enough i don't need more i mean he already has a sand of his, which is like super op and then he has like better legs better arms and all that stuff so yeah and i'm wondering the big guy he fought in the main uh, maelstrom um mission it seemed like david uses sandavis to attack him right and he reacted to it so i guess the big guy had it had maybe a sandavis too and speed up and that's why he could keep up with um david's speed so yeah, I guess there are multiple Sandavis that do all the same thing maybe, which is confusing. I mean, if, I mean, like I said, I don't know if the Sandavis is just like, if this, uh, if the one that David has is like a new product maybe in the Sandavis line, maybe there are multiple different versions and the one that David had is, uh, has is maybe more dangerous because it's like new or something and or untested or something. Or maybe that's just how all the sand of us are, right? Um, and it makes me... If it's like just another sand of us and that's how sand of us are, right? Um, yeah, then, I don't know, it seems like it's from what was shown in the first episodes and all that stuff. It seemed more special than it maybe actually is, right? <clears throat> maybe it's just like some rare cyberware that is not so common, so... That's what makes it so spe special, and then people being able to use it because it's so dangerous to use. 
which is weird if you have like cyberware like that just being normal and it's just super dangerous to use and it's just normal that's how it is um who would buy it and who would use it really if it's so dangerous because maybe it's just something where it's like everyone thinks i'm special i i can use it it won't happen for me others might die from it but i'm fine i i will have no problem that's why i use it i don't know maybe that's what it is um and yeah uh, we had some funny moments with Becca. I don't know. I, I like Becca. She's fun. <laughs> and yeah, she also got like big arms, big hands now as upgrades. And this is craziest ever with her guns and all that shit. She likes her guns. And yeah, we had like a call with Wakako, which we know from the game. So that was interesting. And yeah, they talked a bit about like that David took no over basically after Mane was dead. And that he's making a name for himself. Um, which is, I guess, obvious. Or, like, makes sense. Because he has a sand of us. He is not affected really by it. He can use it a lot. Because he, he is very resistant. And it's just very strong overall. So, if he, with all his other upgrades, he is very strong right now, I would say. So, it makes sense that he can make a name for himself. Because we know that Kiwi is pretty good, right? And Becker is pretty good, so he has a solid team right now, and he's good himself, too. And then, yeah, we saw that he got more updates. Upgrades, not updates, upgrades. And it seemed like Lucy would just, like, be gone now, that she maybe uh, split from the group, right, and went away somewhere after what happened last episode. But no, David and Lucy are still around together, and so that's interesting. I like that. I like to see that. But man, it makes me also a bit anxious because, like I said, the whole thing with David that he just keeps upgrading, 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 and we know what it, what can happen if you upgrade too much, right? That you can get corrupted. Makes me wonder if something like that will happen. I don't know. I, I feel like I expect the worst outcome, basically. <laughs> That's what I'm expecting because I know that cyberpunk world can be pretty dark and brutal. So I always expect the worst outcome that something happened to Davis, that something happened to, I guess, uh, I mean that something happened, yeah, I guess that something happened to Davis or that something happened to Lucy. But I want to see them two together and happy and all that stuff. But also we finally got some, it's, let's get to Lucy, Um, before I go to her backstory, let's say. It's just that she, after what happened in the last episode, right, she is very affected by it. I guess because what she saw in Tanaka's data, mind, whatever, I guess that affected her. And that's why she took a step away from the gig scene, right, and is just like not participating in it anymore. Because here's the thing, we saw the backstory of her, that she was from a different country, that she got taken in by Arasaka and got trained to be net runners because they want to get into the old net to get like lost information and all that stuff um, from the old net and it's very dangerous to go there so that's why many die when they go there and eventually they just broke away from Arasaka and are basically on the run and she said that she is not that she doesn't think that she's like followed anymore right chased anymore that she has run and I think maybe maybe that's why she was shaking in the last episode before she did the, did the dive when she talked to Davis and said that he should say that she can do it because maybe she was afraid because it's Arasaka, right? Because maybe she still is afraid that maybe they are after her, right? And if she jacks into him, maybe they will notice that. And then they're like, oh, that's one of ours. We want her back, right? So maybe she was a bit afraid because of her past. Because we saw the small flashback where she was running, which we saw in this episode now. So maybe that's why she was shaking. And it's overall just very messed up, right? Taking Childs in to do this shit. And they basically can die from that shit. And then we had the scene where David was shaking and I'm getting confused again because I don't know if is that because maybe he is too much chromed up and that's why he is shaking because he gets to his limit maybe 
because again main was also shaking or maybe is it just because of uh, Lucy's backstory that he is maybe a bit mad and that's why he's shaking because of because he's so mad about the fucked up shit in her past right so maybe he that he's mad for her because she said that he's still the same that he is like what did whoops whoops, whoops. um what did they say whoop, 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 whoop. um haven't changed have you still chasing someone else's dream um so yeah maybe that's why he was shaking because he was mad because of a backstory uh, about Arasaka and based on that line I would say maybe that's the reason or I mean I like I said I don't know maybe it's because he's so chromed up right now that maybe that's some side effects right now I don't know and then yeah they hugged right because I guess David just wants to comfort her a bit and then she had like this eye flash right maybe because they said that they almost, what did they say? Let's, let's see it. Uh, managed to retrieve most of the data, um, but the vitals filed for one of the test subject, the subjects was completely corrupted. And I guess they go, I guess this is maybe Tanaka's data that they go through. Maybe? Could? Could? Lucy maybe through Tanaka go into Arasaka for data files and corrupt something. Maybe she went through Tanaka's mind into Arasaka and corrupted her files because she was like one of the test subjects, I guess, right? They talk about. Um, and maybe she corrupted it because they say was completely corrupted. Yes, manipulated deliberately. <clears throat> no trace in the eyes? No. But this level of precision, well, there's only a handful of ne uh, of net runners capable of it. No, I don't believe that Tanaka had no reason. Uh, no, I don't believe that Tanaka had no reason to do so. So they, I guess, they basically say that must have been someone else. Tanaka had no reason to corrupt these data. <clears throat> and then understood. I'll do what I can to restore it. <clears throat> Goodbye. Tense music, and then we saw Lucy coming in. So maybe Lucy. <clears throat> So what I maybe think is maybe Lucy made a connection somehow that she can realize it if someone um, if someone uh, what's the word um, accesses the data that she corrupted maybe so she realized she noticed that someone accessed those data maybe and that's why her eyes flashed so she knew someone was maybe looking for her and then she went after the guy that did that and killed him now so that no one is coming after her right that's my guess that's how it seemed to me <clears throat> because it seems like she maybe corrupted her data her vital files that she's like basically out of the system that no one knows about her right hiding her tracks and then someone is now looking for her she noticed that and killed him too so that no one can find her right that's my guess that's how it seemed like but maybe i get it wrong <clears throat> but i mean Overall, that makes um, that makes Lucy very mysterious again, right? That she just pops up at the end and kills this guy with the red eyes and then her hair starts glowing. That was crazy. So yeah, I'm still... Lucy is very interesting because she's very mysterious still, right? We know now some backstory of her. But I mean, there seems to be more, I feel like. Especially now with the end we saw, it seems there's more. Um, so yeah, will be interesting. We're like episode 7 now, 3 more episodes. I think the next 3 episodes I will watch tomorrow and upload them all together. Like the big finale, finale. And we will see. But yeah, I guess that's all I could talk about. Oh yeah, something I forgot last episode what I wanted to mention is... When did this whole... When does this took place? Does it take place before Cyberpunk's game story, during that time, or afterwards? That's what I'm wondering, like, wh where does this take place in the timeline, basically? I guess we won't find out. Probably, most likely we won't. I mean, <clears throat> we know that Wa Wakoka? 
the fixer from from the game also we know that she is around so might be around the time where cyberpunk plays might be before that or after that because i mean she because cyberpunk the game plays only in like a small time frame right because time is limited they had in the game um i think it only plays plays during like a few days or so if i remember correctly maybe i'm wrong or maybe a few months maybe but yeah so there's still years where the fixer or Kako or whatever can be around so it can play before that after that or during it we don't know and i think we won't find out really um but yeah i guess that's the episode so yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say thanks for watching until next time bye bye